Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's make it a great month, September 1st, man. You're going to love it. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile place for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 79, NASDAQ down 57, S&P's flat. They're going to go green any second here because we get, uh, this is, the battle's been shaping up. I mean, we, we came off this low, uh, bottom line, uh, and we're right at the highs right now. Gold, gold contract down $19.20 trade at 17.07 an ounce. We have silver down 21 cents, 17 dollars 67 cents an ounce, light sweet crude off $3.35 at $86.18 a barrel. Notes and bonds. This is some big numbers out here, man. You get the 10 year note trading down 26 at 116.02. The 30 years off a full two points plus six ticks at 134.07. You get the 10 year right now, folks, trading yielding. 3.25% and King Dollar. King Dollar is over its highs. You're up 886 ticks. You're at 109.586. The Euro is at 99. The Yen is at 140. And the British Pound is at 115 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is a fun one. We're right at it, baby. So let's go with the E-minis first and look at it. I'll show you right where we are. Because my take is that this is still not going to hold, man. So this is going to be intriguing watching this shake out. Because what you have here, so look what we have, okay? Bottom line, you, we made a low today in the E-mini of 39.03, okay? The number it was trying to get over, uh, you know, and that, you had to hit. This is what you said. We, we, we came off. We didn't come off with, with volume, but we had volume like 40 minutes ago. The first time that we popped over that high, we had volume. We have 60,000 contracts, okay? Well, what just happened is that we just tested that 60,000 with 44, okay? Now, what happens is that you're still over it, so, you know, you didn't have a failure on price. You did have a contraction of volume, however, by 33%. When you have 33% contraction of volume and you still have 50 minutes left in the marketplace and you know, what you're trading here, so you're trading right up to ice. This is really cool just to understand how this shakes out. Let me put it in the, where is it? No, I go to the spy, that's what I'll do. So you'll see how this sets up here, man. So you can see what we did here. There's ice right there. Just put it, put its head right into it. So the that's 395.04, and we just hit 395.33. Now, this this will take a bit to get through it. Uh, my the reason I'm saying that I suspect you're still going to get some selling at the at the end is that number one, you come up to ice. Number two, the dollar is still up over its highs and bottom line we'll see where it shakes out you know that's the spy and the x100 same type of setup because that's a normal occurrence when you come up to uh ice folks that's that's how markets like to trade and well you can see this is interesting the 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 cues didn't make it and so this is what's really cool about this also and the cues let's see the first time up was 1.6 million the second time was 1.3 you know the cues didn't make it yet, though. The ice on the cues is 299.20. We hit uh, 298.23, I believe. Yeah, we did. So the cues haven't made it yet. Now, if we go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. This is <laughs> this dollar has been hanging up here, and the bottom line, it looks like this dollar, you know, bottom line, wants to not only get higher, um, but we'll see whether it gets away from this high because it's already got away from it pretty well. The high, the first high we're talking about out here is 109.294. So, well, you're only 300 ticks above it, but 300 ticks is 300 ticks. 
The reason that I'm bringing this up, because if you actually, let's say we get 300 ticks is not enough to say, okay, you're away from the swing, right? We go up another 1,000 ticks, that is going to tell you, and the market will go crazy, that is going to tell you that this thing is going to go for its all-time high. And its all-time high is, I believe, 121.53 or something. Let's see. 121.030. Because you can see, you know, the bottom line is that there's not much in the way. You know, once we took out the 103.820 mark, there's not much basic, well, there's, there's not a lot. Of, you get a supply line. But bottom line, the next swing point is almost at those highs. So, you know, I suspect what we're going to see um, is that it looks like to me that that thing actually wants to go there. So uh, Dow up 82. Na uh, e mini just went positive. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 43 NQs, which is nothing, by the way. OK, because the bottom line, if we go look at the NQs, you know, this thing was down big and, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. So, you know, you get, if, if we close here, what, do I, what, do, what you do have is that you get a nice little hammer that's happening. Uh, if we go through, you know, yesterday when I started the show, I went through that, the, the point, the 1 to 1.382 ABC structure. Well, the, the SPY did it. The SPY, the, the 1 to 1 ABC was 392. We went to 390, rejected it at 395. Now, the Qs didn't make it. The Qs, the 1 to 1.382 and the Qs is... 286.83. And thus far, you've only made 292.95. You know? So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Meaning that can it hold price here? Uh, can, can, it, can it totally all get green? And then do you get a bounce tomorrow? Now, the, pro the problem with getting a bounce tomorrow is that it's going to be on light volume. So, um, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. Dow. Dow Industrials up 81. The Nasdaq's down 67. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.